softball game last night. What was that experience like? It was cool. It was my first one I've been to. But it was just cool that they're remembering Spence, so it's always good to keep them in our thoughts. Did you watch football on Saturday? I did. A lot of football. Uh, I watched the Tennessee game, watched the USC game. It's really turned on whatever was on, but those are the two, my two favorite ones I watched this weekend. Were you able to kind of watch it like a fan? Because I was talking to like Bennett yesterday, and he's like, oh, I was so analytical, like I was looking for plays and stuff. Like, how was that experience like for you? I agree with him. Like, I was just watching, you know, how Tennessee ran the kind of that switch verse to number 11, and how he was just eating eating the, the deep ball against uh, Alabama but it's just you can see it as a fan but I also saw it as like you know analytics like I've seen what they're playing how how their tight ends are playing you know just kind of just picking bits and pieces and you know add it to my game know what not to do and such do you, when that happens like do you ever see something and then you go to like a coach or team as like, oh, I saw this whatever like maybe not a coach but like does it give you ideas ever yeah so like sometimes I see a clip or whatever I either screen recorded or you know, I find it on whatever, and then I send it to my coach. I'm like, hey, look at this. Like, this is yeah. kind of cool, you know. Have they ever kind of taken that into account, or is it just like, ah, oh, we'll see? You know, we'll see. It's like, we'll see. But, you know, we've talked about it. You know, if, if it's in there, it'll get in there. But, you know. Right. Is it more difficult to do that when you're watching USC and Utah? Do you, we'll see Utah later in the MIT USC. Is it difficult to kind of watch as, quote, unquote, a fan? Uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess it is hard to see it as a fan because, you know, we're going to be playing against them, and I want to beat them, and we will. But it just, it's, you know, it just, you know, also it's good to sit back and just, you know, relax and enjoy the game of football. You know, it's a sport I love, you know, it's you know, it's what I do, it's my life, so well, how different a player are you compared to playing these guys last year? Like one year ago against UCLA versus the player and the blocker you are today. How different are you? Um, I say a lot different. Um, this new coaching staff took a new approach to how everything is handled and I, I switched up everything and I can see it change momentumly in my game and it's I can see myself progressing even further down during the season, so. What were some of those differences, the, the, the difference of approach you mentioned? What were some of those Hand placement, uh, working more on like technique, footwork, kind of just working more as a tight end blocker, not like an attached alignment, kind of like using what tight ends have instead of what O-line use instead of blocking. The buzz around this game is as big as we've seen for you guys since the Georgia game. What do you think you guys learned in that whole process, of, you know, getting prepared that's made you better prepared for this week? Just fighting adversity and you know, uh, kind of our thing with this week was just, you know, control what you control. And that's what really that Georgia game really kind of set out for us. Like, forget everything else, you know, control what we control, control our effort, control our physicality, control, you know, our assignments. Just like as long as we do that, it's we'll, we'll come out good. Going off that, and I know it's been a while, but what do you remember in the, the hours and days after that game from, like, landing in terms of his demeanor? Honestly, I, 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 he took it. We put it back as our team, we learned from it and just we kept moving forward. There's no no shift and change, no it wasn't acting crazy or anything. It was just like, come on, it's like next week, let's go. We have a bigger plan, bigger picture and just keep on going. And since then we haven't been on top. So. Wait, was there did you see any teammates that maybe were at risk of kind of getting down about that and that he was bringing them up a little bit because of that or I think he kind of it? just addressed it as a team, like we're all we're all in this together. It's not there's no I. There's just like we're we're in this together and it's just kinda more like we're gonna do this as a team. It's not, not that kind of thing. I'm sure you've seen the uniforms this weekend. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. I'm excited. You know, I remember way back when they had the pink uniforms, but it's just cool that I get to put them on. I'm really excited. What is the relationship you have with Cam mean to you? Uh, it's huge. Uh, he's kind of like the big brother, the uncle. Like I don't know, call him Unky Inky. You know, but uh, he's he's really the role model in our room. He, he teaches us a lot of you know, what he learned in football, but also like tips outside of everything, you know, handling my credit and doing all that stuff, like the real, real, real man stuff. So <laughs> what uh, was it like to learn of his actual story over time, ever how much you do now? You don't get into the details yeah. of it, to actually, you know, beyond Cam, the injured football player. Yeah, this, it's, he's a lot more than just, you know, what you said, but he's, he's a great human being. Um, kind of like the example that, I think everyone should have. He's he leads by example, and he's just a great human overall. I know connection has been a big theme for you guys. Looking back at fall camp, or even in the spring when you were here, going through it all, how do you feel like that piece has really brought you guys to where you are today and helped you find improvements week after week? Uh, definitely, uh, connections. I think the biggest part of our program. Uh, really, it brings us to own our mistakes, own what we do wrong, but also like it sets our leaders, it brings our leaders up and 
we can really fix our mistakes and not get down on each other. It's just like, you did this wrong, let's go pick it back up. And it's just not like a snarky response. It's like, yeah, I got you. It's like, we got each, you know, got each other's back. Do you have a personal, um, like a time where you can remember that specifically like you thought of that when something happened to you or maybe you're a conflict with a teammate, anything like that? Um, I mean, I could think of a lot. I mean, I, there's plenty of times where I'm like, I thought I totally saw the signal. I'm trying to blame the signaler. I was like, I thought it was the wrong signal. Bo's, Bo's talking to me. He's like, come on, just snap, snap out of it. If the wrong signal, it's the wrong signal, but it's just next play mentality. You know, you can't make it mess up the whole series. So, What have you seen from UCLA's defensive front so far this season? Lots of six and a half sacks coming in this. How do you try to, try to work on that as a tight end potentially in those pass block scenarios? Just definitely knowing our strengths and our abilities and just not let the over the hype of everything else just play our game don't get too high don't get too low just come in there do our job and we can come up top